And new at six, the family of Tennessee Titan great Steve McNair is suing. That's right. His widow and two children say a television crew trespassed and invaded their privacy. And as Nick Barris tells us, the family says they were then subjected to painful questions about the murder of the quarterback. The McNairs filed this lawsuit here in civil court alleging reckless and malicious conduct. And they say what was done was highly offensive. The lawsuit states that a crew from Crime Watch Daily, a syndicated program produced in Los Angeles, visited the McNair home back in August. This is a lawsuit for damages. It's a tort lawsuit uh, where the plaintiffs are seeking to recover for trespass and invasion to privacy, uh, an intentional infliction of emotional distress. With cameras rolling at the front door, McNair's widow says the crew started asking intrusive questions of her regarding the death of her husband, Stephen McNair, and were persistent in attempting to bait Michelle McNair into discussing painful details of her husband's death in the presence of her minor children. Steve McNair, the former Titans great, was shot and killed by an alleged girlfriend, 20-year-old Sahil Kazimi, back in 2009. Metro police say it was a murder-suicide. But at the time, Vincent Hill, a private investigator, claimed someone else was involved. He even wrote a book. There's still hundreds of unanswered questions. Back in 2010, Metro detectives debunked his theories. But I can tell you, most of that speculation, then you wonder, was coming from Vincent Hill. But Hill was with Crime Watch at the McNair home. He also is named in the lawsuit. Michelle McNair claims the crew refused to leave and maliciously suggested she was concealing the truth about the death of her husband and her children had to endure the painful, untrue and unwarranted verbal assaults regarding the death. Metro police say the murder case is long closed. The McNair's lawyer says the family just wants such hurtful questions and unwelcome visits to stop. Perhaps most important, the McNairs are asking the court to issue a permanent injunction banning the use of any of that video shot that day. In Nashville, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Now, we did reach out to Vincent Hill by phone today. He says the visit to the McNair home lasted just a few moments. They never went inside, and the questions were not malicious. We did not hear back from Crime Watch Daily.